I'm Wagsy. Welcome to Wagsy's World. Today's subject is a good one. What makes the Boston debut album great? Oh, I love this album. You know, I've always said if I was on a deserted island and could only pick one album to listen to, it would be the Boston debut album. Now, if I could pick a band, it would be Journey. But if I had to pick one album, it would not be a Journey album. It would be the Boston debut album. And make sure and stay till the end. I've got a review of a Washington State whiskey that is a U.S. Special Forces tribute bottle. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. I would appreciate it. So let's get into it. Tom Schultz and Brad Dell created this album during the early 70s. And they finally got it released in August of 1976. Now they wrote and recorded the songs for this album in Tom's apartment basement. They shopped the demo to lots of record labels and they were rejected by every single one. Epic Records finally signed and approved the album in 75. Now this music was groundbreaking in terms of the sound and the production. It was, it was totally new. It became known as the Boston Sound. An orchestra of guitars, soaring vocals, catchy hooks. Now they added players, Franchian, Sib Hashian, and Barry Goudreau, when they, to finalize the record and then for the tour. But it was 85 to 90% Tom Schultz and Brad Dell. Now this album, when it was released, Oh man, I remember. It broke records as the top selling debut release album of all time. I first remember listening to this on an eight track, riding with my cousin who was gonna race some motorcycles and I was in the passenger seat. He popped it into his eight track and we listened to it on the way to the track. Man, what an impression it made on me. This album had constant radio play and sold 17 million copies in the U.S. alone. Now the album cover art, which I'm gonna show you here, the cover art was cool. You know, it was uh, uh, sci-fi, which was very, very popular during the 70s. So it was sci-fi, and then the album, the song list was superb, and I'm also gonna put that here on the screen for you, the list of songs. Every single song is well crafted, well played, and well sung. Now, with the double track vocals of Brad and Tom's perfectionist attitude about how the rest of the music was produced and how it should sound, this album became known as the landmark in 70s big rock, hard rock. It had big, gigantic, melodic hooks in it and Brad Delp has been be, become known as one of the top voices in the power of rock pop history. It had three top 40 songs which at the time for a hard rock band you know 1976 for you had a lot of Barbra Streisand going on then the Carpenters some disco was getting started for a hard rock band to have three top 40 hits off of one album just didn't happen at that time. We're, we're talking about more than a feeling, long time and peace of mind. Now, if you're not familiar with Boston or this album, or even the titles of those songs I just said, sadly you may have heard one of them in an elevator, definitely in a restaurant, uh, probably a Starbucks. You've probably heard one of those three songs more than was once, and I don't really care how young you are. They're so classic and kind of burned into our minds. Now, why do I think the Boston debut album is great? Well, of course, I was in my mid-teens when it was released. And so it definitely was a soundtrack to my teenage life. And 
it's a top album for me of all time. But as I said, if I could only listen to one album, I would always pick that. Why? I never grow tired of every single song. It sounds pretty fresh when you hear it, even if it's the 30th time. So this is, technically I guess this would be my favorite album of all time. Now let's get to the whiskey review. Now this whiskey review is from Heritage Distillery in Washington, actually in the Gig Harbor area. So let's take it out and see what we got here. Show you the label, then I'm gonna read from it. First Special Forces Group. This is a seven year old whiskey, 92 proof. They talk about the history and lineage and legacy of the first special forces group that they they continue to lead from the front in its nation's conflicts living up to its motto first in asia and i believe that was from the world war ii that was their first deployment they don't list any notes about this whiskey so we're going to get to do it on our own which is probably the best way to do it no preconceived ideas about it. It's got a twist cap. This whiskey was given to me recently by my cousin, Rusty, as kind of an advanced birthday gift. So thank you, Rusty. Here's the, the crack of the label and let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna work with this a little while because I don't know anything about it. I've never had it. So the notes are nice. Uh, vanilla, definitely. Yeah, I would say vanilla candy, Werther's. Uh, not strong ethanol at all. So I would say the nose, fairly complex, but pretty straightforward. A lot of vanilla. Now, as much vanilla as I smelled on the palate, maybe my nose was off. I'm not getting that at all in the flavor, actually. It's got a good mouth fill. A little bit of smoke, or oak, I'm probably getting oak. A little bit of oakiness. Slight spice on the back side. The finish is long, actually. The spice is coming in towards the end. So very nondescript in the beginning. Some oakiness, not a lot of sweetness. And then I'm getting more of the spice and a little nuttiness at the end. Very drinkable, super drinkable. So I would recommend it. Harris Distillery, first special forces group whiskey. Okay, guys, that's it for today's review. Boston, the debut album. I said I think all I can say, it's probably my favorite album of all time. Thank you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Waxy's World. Waxy's World. It's